friends, if you planted dahlias this year for the first time, I bet they are at the perfect height right now for you to pinch them. Yes, you need to pinch them. Um, what that means is you're gonna cut the top off them. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but here's why it's important. When you pinch it, it is literally scientific. It tells the plant to stop trying to send one really strong shoot up and instead it's gonna bush out. And when it bushes out, it's going to be sturdier, which means it won't blow over as easily if it's windy. Um, and best of all, when you pinch it and it stops sending just one stalk straight up, it bushes out, which makes it pretty Produce more flowers and that is the key right so once your dahlias are six between six to twelve inches tall you're gonna just pinch or cut off the middle part I'm gonna show you so see how this one has one main stalk that's coming up and these are like the two biggest leaves that are down here so we're gonna cut about four inches off the top and I'm gonna cut it right above those leaves make sure you can see right there literally just cut it off so this is the chunk that we took off and what it's gonna do and you'll be able to see within probably a week you will see how see those little lighter parts that are right in here those are going to become the new stalks that come up but I want to show you something because if you planted dahlias brand new this year, so you had one little tuber that you put in the ground, um, number one, they all come up at different rates. They're different flowers. You have to remember that even though they're all the same variety, they're all dahlias, they're all different flowers. They're gonna grow at different rates. The plants are gonna be different heights. The flowers are gonna look different. You know that. So don't expect all of the dahlia plants to actually come out of the ground at the same rate. You can see that like this one is a bit bushier than this one. And then check this out. That one is just now coming up while that one is much, much bigger. But here's what you need to remember is that if you left your dahlias in the ground, they are probably massive right now. Let me show you. This dahlia I left in the ground. I did not dig it up. I didn't split up any of the tubers. Look at how big it is. So what do you do if your dahlia is already that big and you didn't pinch it? It's okay. What I've found is that the dahlias that are left on the ground, the tubers aren't split up. It's sending up lots and lots of shoots. It doesn't have one main shoot. So if you look at this, this has like multiple main shoots in. I had planned to pinch them, but I forgot before we left and now it's way too big. So I'm not going to cut it down, but what I will do, because it's going to bloom really soon, it's already putting on the bloom heads. So what I'm going to do is when the blooms do set on, I'm going to cut them with a really long stem to try and bring the height of the plant down a little bit. Um, but it's so sturdy. I have it staked up, so I'm actually not worried about it. Um, blowing over in the wind or not producing enough dahlias because there's so many shoots on it already. Two more dahlia tips for you. Are you ready for this? Um, if your plants are getting chewed up or they're getting nibbled on and you're like, what is going on? I bet you have slugs and um, that's not uncommon. The slugs love, love, love the dahlias. So one of the things I do is wood chips. Wood chips are um, an amazing natural deterrent. Slugs don't like them. They don't want to. They don't want to run their little sluggy bodies over them. That is why I put wood chips all around the dahlias and the zin. The other thing is just go get sluggo. It's not expensive and it will protect the plant. You can see even with the wood chips, this one is just getting chewed up. So I'm going to get the sluggo out to surround that. The other thing is that now that the dahlias are this size, they're ready for some more food. They need more than just what's in their tuber. So I'm gonna start fertilizing them. So two of the fertilizers that I like to use, one of them is compost tea. If you have compost, you can make compost tea. I think I have an IG story about it. If not, I'll make one. It's so simple. Um, I don't use a bubbler or any of that. I literally take the compost, steep it, and then I water the flowers with it. And they love it because you're basically helping them get as quick access to all the nutrients in the compost. The other thing is the Alaska 
fish fertilizer. Uh, you can buy it at pretty much any garden shop or Home Depot or any of those places. I will warn you, it stinks awful. It'll make your garden stink. Do it in the morning so that you can just feed the plants and be out of there because honestly, it's so bad. One time I accidentally spilled some in my husband's truck. It was bad. <laughs> so make sure you feed the plants. Don't spill it in your truck. Now you're ready. Go pinch your dahlias, give them a little fertilizer, surround them with sluggo, and just watch them grow. Don't forget to water them. They do like water. At this point, they want to be watered. And I can't wait to see how yours do. I know that this patch right here, even though right now it looks puny and small, soon enough it will be way up above my head and we'll be cutting loads and loads of dahlias. And that is what I want from your patch too. So have fun gardening.